Hey, what's going on guys? It's Matt here. Um, just going to kind of show you a few things, new new items and stuff like that, some changes, some raffles, just kind of give an update. I don't really have anything going on, so why not uh, talk to you guys for a little bit. Uh, main thing I want to show is that, a lot of you guys know that, which they come in an extremely nice box that you will take the item out of and then put this up and never remember where the hell it went. It's a really nice box though. If you are going to resell or trade, keep this because a lot of places want this to give you a fair price for the object. So, hang on to that. But what I went with on my pistols, I changed out. I was going to go with a, uh, a micro red dot, like primary arms, not a... I mean, at this price, I probably could have gone with a aim point, but uh, I don't know. I just like the EOTEX. I think um, I think they're awesome. I, I just I, I like the look of them and I like the reticle. Um, so, but I went with the 512. I had the option to go with the XPS2, and uh, I talked myself out of it. And of course, you know, afterwards I was kind of like, "Wow, oh, God, for like 75 more bucks, I could have got the XPS2. It's a more compact optic. Runs off of a CR 1.3 battery." Um, this runs off of two double A's. This is the 512, by the way. I didn't mention that. The 512 with the uh, standard EOTech reticle, the uh, uh, the ring with a single red dot. Um, better battery life uh, as far as runtime and stuff goes with that. So I don't know. And plus, I just the, the this is what an EOTech. When someone says EOTech, this is what I think. This is this is the look I have. I think of EOTech. So I'm happy with it. Uh, it works out really well. I, <clears throat> I put the thumb mount or the uh, thumb screw on it as opposed to like the uh, hex head screw that comes with it just because I can take this off and use it on a 16 inch rifle or kind of swap it around because I don't, I don't really shoot this thing that much until I go through the process and get an SBR and all that. So this isn't like uh, you know, pistol format. This isn't my absolute favorite. So, that's that. Another thing, I don't know if you saw the other video, but I took the K2 grip off of this and went with the new MOE grip, the uh, MOE Plus, the uh, insert, and then this is the rubberized. It just feels better to me, and I don't know, that K2. I still have it. I've got another rifle I'm about to show you here in a second, but I don't know. I just didn't really like it on this one, and I think that looks a lot better. So the other one, and I haven't really shown this one that much. Uh, this is a 16 inch with a 15 inch key mod slim uh, handguard on it. Uh, it's all kind of off brand materials and stuff like that. But uh, you see that K2 plus I put on here with this magnified optic and everything. I think it just it feels better with that grip angle on this than it does on the other one, which makes absolutely no sense because this was made to go on the shorter PDW rifles and not this. So <clears throat> I'm weird. But uh, another thing I haven't shown is the Bushnell AR optic that's upside down. Didn't realize it. This is the one with the uh, throw lever on it. So you can go between one power to four power. Kind of like a three gun style. That's kind of what this looks is starting to look like. Not intentionally, it's just what happened. Uh, this optic I picked up from Primary Arms, and it was one of those to where they had it um, on one of their, their mini sales that they had like once a week. But it's like a $250, $60 optic retail, not always, but uh, I picked this up for I think around $170. And then Primary Arms was uh, had that deal to where if you bought their little rinky dink mount, you could pick it up for like 20 bucks. I didn't have a, a 30 millimeter uh, mounting option, and I really didn't have the money to, you know, spend a hundred dollars on a, a American Defense or a hell, it's probably even more expensive than that, uh, or the, the the pepper mount or something like that. So. For the time being, because first off, I didn't even know if I was going to like this optic, and the jury is still out on it. So I went with a cheap mount just to put it on there to be able to use it, but 
I don't like it because it's just got a single uh, screw on it and the base is really narrow so I don't know how that's gonna work out long term but I'm still not 100% on this optic I I really like the idea of having a like a one to a, uh, a mid-range power the one to four <sighs> but it just the one power, it's almost like I'd rather just have a fixed power scope on it than have something that advertises a one because nothing is truly a one power if it has any type of magnification capability. So the one power really throws my eye off when I try to use it as it's intended to be like a CQB transition optic or something like that. So I don't, I don't know. And then the uh, the reticle, it's got the, the BDC drop like horseshoe with the, the, the Christmas tree down from it. It's it's not a difficult optic to use. It's just, uh, it's not a very clean optic. So uh, I just, I don't know. It, it works for, for what it is right now. Main thing is I'm not using this rifle that much and I'm not going to throw the company under the bus right now because I'm still working with them to get it fixed. But the barrel, the gas port uh, is milled incorrectly and it is off by just enough to jack up the uh, rifle from cycling correctly. I'm not getting enough gas to cycle it. Uh, at first I thought it was the uh, gas block. so. I spent some time taking it on and off, trying to make sure it was perfectly lined. If there was an issue with it, and that's when I found out that the the distance is not correct uh, on the barrel for the the gas opening. So, <clears throat> needless to say, taking the gas block on and off, I've stripped the the screws bad enough to where it's. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut the gas block off to get it off. And anyway, I'm I'm dealing with the company right now, trying to get everything fixed up and get a correct barrel, but have some difficulties with that. So anyway, uh, when we get further into it or something gets resolved or not, I'll go down that road and let you guys know about that. But um, that's why they tell you I, I went the, sh the short route on uh, this rifle. This was a really inexpensive rifle build. And uh, I took shortcuts with products um, this handguard is a like a seventy dollar handguard, uh, but uh, you know key mod. It's it's the lightest key mod rail that I could find, and uh, I don't put a lot of garb and stuff on it. So you know it does. I really didn't even need a a, a rail this long, or but uh, it's real slim. I like it because I can get my hand all the way around it. I put these just little hand guards, this Midwest key mod inserts for lightweight. So, you know, it's one of these that I can really get up on. So, uh, but the barrel I skimped on, um, but it came, it, it, there was a parts and pieces that came with it at a, at the time, really great price. And I jumped on it and uh, it's come by, back to bite me. Hadn't had that happen yet. So kind of an unfortunate thing. So. But uh, we'll hopefully get that resolved here fairly soon. Uh, so, guys, thanks for watching. Um, also, too, a buddy of mine just started a channel. It's not gun related or anything, but it is outdoors. Um, Paddle Arkansas. I'm going to put a link down there. If you guys would, just go check it out. You know, throw him a sub or two. I'm trying to get the, the channel going. I'm going to be helping him out hopefully uh, here pretty soon with uh, some videos and. Uh, you know things like that so i'll be balancing between the channels i don't do much on here anymore but uh, i'm gonna try to help them out so paddle arkansas do me a favor go to the link below and uh give it a click check it out i mean there's not going to be much on it right now a few things and uh, we'll be building it up hopefully over the next uh two or three weeks so love to have you guys you know that supported me for a while go over there and kind of help him out he's a good buddy of mine so anyway Guys, as always, stay safe. Thank y'all.